Do not despise those who are around you, even if you are above them in status, in money, in influence. Do not despise them because there is greatness in them. Even when they have done things that are wrong towards you, it is good to act in love. It is much more better to show them the light. Do not despise them. Today's word is from the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 to 4. And it reads, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. That is it. This is the good news. That let nothing that you do be done in selfish um, ambition. Do not only look at your own interest. Do not only look at what you will get out of it. When you go out to meet people, when you talk to people, do not only look at you solving your problem and leaving the other because the person who's around you has a need. The person who's around you has something they are struggling with. Brothers and sisters, the scripture says that let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interests of others as you are looking out for your interest. Also put it in mind that it's also for the interest of others. Let them enjoy also. Let them also have the good things that you have. Let it not only be unto you. Do not be selfish. In the kingdom of God, it is love that works. Brothers and sisters, this is a good message that I want to encourage you that whatever you are going through, no matter who you encounter in your life, some of you, God is going to put people in your life just to train you, to, and to help you and guide you so that you may be victorious over those things. And some of the things may look intimidating. Some of the things may look as though they are draining your uh, energy. They may look as though they are not good to you. But at the end of it, it will be a good lesson. It will be something that has been brought up to put you and place you to another level. Well, I have come to the end of this message. One thing that I would like you to do is share this good news with somebody else. Let somebody know of this good news. If this good news has been so good to you, share it. Leave your comments. And until next time, shalom.